Cope Whiskey Blend. Alright, uh, today we got Cope Whiskey Blend. And we're spitting in the Mr. Who better see my junk? Alright, for. I got a dip left, yeah, he's watching this amnesia but video game with that fag ass guy from Sweden. I don't know. What the fuck's wrong with you? Oh, oh, I got a headache from fucking hell. This sinus is y'all. It hurts like a son of a bitch. I like that. Can I go in here? Of course. So let's throw a cynic dip. Cope whiskey boy. Okay. Okay, I'll put it in here. Ah, fine. Why oh, don't we pause this? I'm sure you're recording. Yeah, no, we don't pack it like that, man. Oh, God. What do you think? We pack it, that's all you need. Have my brother record for me. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Holy Let's crap, I can do it that way. Yeah, that's cool. The cup whiskey blend, I only got like, oh, fuck, a dip left, Nick. It's being a bitch, guys. Haha, uh -huh, you're out. No, I have a whole tub of stokers. Haha, uh -huh, you're out of the closet. Mm. Yeah, shut up. Uh, let's get us a dip in. I like to call it. This camera's features. more, I mean, your phone's more clear than ever. Uh, there you go. Get us a dipper in. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, nice, beautiful. <coughs> oh yeah, we're doing this in my room. Yep. Alright. Your room sucks balls. Yes, I'm dipping. Dude, this phone's like 3D. I can see it. Mm -hmm. Alright. Right 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 Never put it, you can't put a dip in it. Like, if you don't, spell a little bit. You know you put the perfect dip in when you spell something. We bought a mental horse. Yeah, Garrett, hold you're a, record, you uh, hold record. the mental horse. Yeah. Now, alright, so let's get down to this cup whiskey blend. Really good dip. I mean, uh, sorry, this video is kind of crappy. I don't have anything to tripod this off of. Cup whiskey is a really good dip. I like it a lot. It tastes like natural, though. It's like a natural with a little bit of a bourbon flavor. So I like that in a dip. I'm going to get the table over there. Get me that table. I have a bourbon -y flavor. Why do you need the table? I don't know. So I can try to my camera. So I where the can went. The can just really just disappeared. But it's got a bourbon-y flavor. I don't know if you guys know what bourbon tastes like, but that's what it tastes like. Now, you guys to dip in, let's talk about this dip. I don't know where the can went. So I'm just going to say the can looks cool. It's like a uh, normal Coke can, but it has... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you doing? Hold on, I'm gonna... What? I need my soda. Break it. Right. Where's the game in? Take your soda. Hold on. I have no idea where my can went. 
But I don't know my camera went. Right. Did it. There's that's the thing right here. It's got brown on the side. Normal black bottom plastic with the metal lid. Uh, it's really cool looking can. It's a dark brown. Almost black, but it's got a brownish tint to it. It's like, I don't know, you have to look in the light and it looks brown. Like it's a rip off of Copenhagen Black though. That's what I've heard from people. Alright. Is this one of the ones that you can uh, screw the ring off of? Yeah. Oh. It needs to pop the ring off of. Oh. But, uh, yeah, so, Cup Whiskey Blend. Pack's pretty nice. I mean, you know, just decent. Uh, it's like the cut is kind of similar to Copenhagen Original. And I didn't know, like, Copenhagen Original was the first dip I ever had. So I didn't really notice the cut any different. So I just bought a can of Copenhagen Original, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago. And I noticed the cut. Like, I'm in so easy just How you taking a can of Coke Winter Green, top, popping all, putting me a dip in. What's the last two numbers? And I think, shut up. And it didn't seem like there was a difference. Open up a can original, and I'm like, holy shit. There really is a difference. Same thing with Coke. With a whiskey blend. The cut is just a tad bit smaller. It's like between original and wintergreen, the cut is. It's really weird. And speaking of cuts, I kind of thought of something. I got a dip in natural, extra long cut. And I realized it's kind of like wintergreen long cut with the cut. It's like cut like wintergreen. So I guess it's a longer cut of the original. So, figure that out. Get me a drink of my soda. That's how cheap I am. But, yeah, the taste, like I said, it kind of tastes like bourbon. It's a bourbon -y flavor. But the closest thing I can compare it to is natural. Natural is the closest thing I compare it to. Hey, what's your last two numbers? Five and four, but stay out of the video. I don't want people to see me. Alright, so, uh. Fuck, I forgot what I was gonna say. I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Talk about something different. But. Let's see. What else can I was gonna say? There's not much to say about it. It's a really good dip, actually. Uh, if I had to rate it, I'd give it like a. Maybe a 7 out of 10. Yes, yeah, the 7 out of 10. As you guys know, I'm not really someone for natural. I'm more of a wintergreen guy. I'll do natural every once in a while. I'm not saying natural is bad. I'm not saying you're dumb for dipping natural. I like natural. I just don't love it. I don't love it as much as like Darcy or something. I really don't know what his favorite dip is. But you see Copenhagen Original popping up in his videos like all the time. Uh, more like outlaw. More like a cup of wintergreen, like every fucking day. I had to switch it up though. I bought another tub of Stokers and wintergreen. Second tub. My second tub of wintergreen Stokers. Because I was just getting tired of Copenhagen. I have a can left. I made that log. I had a log, and this is Wednesday, and I bought it last Tuesday. That's pretty damn long for a log. But it lasts me a good time. I still got a full can left too. It should it's make it's last two weeks. Just about two weeks. So as you guys can tell for that, I have cut down on my dipping a lot. And it is getting too damn expensive to buy it every fucking week. I mean 
money don't grow on the fucking tree. And if I did have a tree, I'd let you guys have it. I'd send it to every YouTube dipper. I want a dip tree. I always thought about opening up a plantation and growing tobacco and have my own dip. You know, get all that shit and everything. That'd be cool as fuck. But what kind of dip? I don't know. I wonder how they make the wintergreen in it. I think it's just like a flavoring they add to it. Alright, uh, I think this is it for this video. We got a cup whiskey blend. Here's the overall review of it. It's a good dip. Uh, if you don't like natural, you probably won't like it. I've heard that. I talked to people about it who's tried it, and they said they didn't like it, and then they said they loved it. But, you know, you, you get that. Uh, oh, I love it. Oh, no. This guy loves it. He hates it. He hates it. He loves it. You know, all that. It seems like there's more people hating it. I didn't find a lot of people who liked it. But I don't mind it, you know. It's, I just bought one can to try it. Would I buy a log of this? No. I, I couldn't dip a whole log of it. Really, if you want my opinion, this is something you buy every once in a while. It's like the alt it's like the alternative for natural. If you're wanting something that tastes like natural, it's better on your gums. But don't have that bland taste. This actually doesn't have a bland taste. This actually has I guess a mild taste. I don't know. I learned you get a mix of flavors with this. It's weird. But, yeah, after a whole can of it, I gotta say, it's not bad. 7 out of 10. Let me guys think what you think of it. And, oh yeah, price. Oh, Garrett, Garrett. Mm -hmm. Garrett, if you had a dip tree, what dip would it be? No, shut up. Okay, I'm just giving you ideas. But, uh... Oh yeah, don't stick packed down very good. Like I said, that's another problem with the cut. But I've almost ended this video like three different times, so I'm gonna end it here. So cup whiskey blend, good dip, seven out of ten. It's good, but it's not great. So I'll see y'all for the next dip review. I wanted to make this one really short. All right, see y'all later.